Hi, we're Bill and David from Purdue University. Hey, David. Yeah, Bill. What's your favorite season? Oh, I think it's the spring. I love the spring flowers and, and, uh, cool, and the, the warm weather. Huh. I'm really big into fall. You know what I like most about fall? I love sitting by a campfire. It starts getting a little chilly out. It's not cold, cold, but it's chilly. And I love just seeing the change of the, of the season going from the, the summer where everything's green and the leaves start changing colors and all that. Well, I like, I do like marshmallows at a campfire, Bill. Good. You know what I also think is interesting, David? What's that? I think it's interesting that they call it fall. And I almost wonder, did they call it fall because the leaves fall off the tree? Gee, Bill, I don't know. I never thought about that. Huh. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up later. Hmm. So, have you ever noticed when the leaves fall from the tree that, you know, they're so pretty, they just kind of nice and, you know, nice float down? You're right. They don't just fall, do they? They kind of wander down. I wonder what that look. Can, would you happen to have a leaf with you, David? Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I do. Oh, there we go. An oak leaf. Beautiful. Let's, let's drop that one time and just take a look. Oh, that's a oh, perfect. Perfect. But does everything fall that way? I don't know. Do you have anything else we could compare it to? Here, pull down to my leaf. Ah, I have a rock. A rock. Interesting. Let's drop them at the same time. Okay, you count and, and I'll let go at the same time. Okay, we'll, we'll let go on three, okay? Got it. One, two, three. Huh. Gee, the, uh, the, the, the speed that they drop is pretty different, isn't it? That's quite a bit of difference. Remember when we were outside with the rock and the leaf? We dropped them at the same time, and what happened? The rock hit the ground first, and then the leaf. Why was that? Why did that happen that way? Well, we have a device. We have a glass tube that has two things inside. We'll show you a close-up. On uh, at one end, we have uh, a quarter, a coin, and a feather. And if we turn the tube upside down, what do you think will happen? You think they will fall at the same time, at the same rate? Will they hit the bottom at the same time? Let's try and see. You ready? And what happened? The feather took longer, didn't it? Let's try it again. Let's go the other way. Feather goes slowly, the coin goes quickly. Okay, we're going to repeat our experiment. We have our glass tube with the coin and the feather, and this time we're going to open the end of the tube, and remember what's inside the tube? Air. We're gonna take all the air out of the tube. So we have a machine that will do that. We just hook the machine up to the end of the tube. We'll turn the machine on, and it will suck all the air out of the tube. Are you ready? This will take a few minutes. Okay, we've pulled all the air out of the tube. And so with no air in the tube, we call that a vacuum. It just means there is no air inside. Now we're gonna try our experiment again. Are you ready? Keep your eye on the quarter and on the feather. One, two, Three. Let's try it the other way. One, two, three. All right, so now that you've seen the video, think about what happened with air, without air, with air, with the vacuum. And think about what the difference was, why the coin and the feather fell at different times or at the same time.